What's up, family? It's your girl, Samantha Lee. And y'all, we are here and we are talking about why women don't like nice guys. At least that's the myth, okay? And I have some reasons for you guys that I will present in this video. But before I get into the meat of the message, there's some things I want to put on your radar. Number one, if you have not yet already joined our family, friends that become family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Let's not waste no time, okay? I like you. Do you like me? <laughs> if you like the content, honestly, seriously, let me stop joking. Um, if you like the content that I put out on this channel, I, I like to put out content almost every single day. I go live once a week. I put out long form content once a week as well. Outside of the live, outside of the live content. Um, and so if you like the content that I put out into this YouTube space, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love for you to be a part of our fast growing game changer network. Um, number two is go ahead and hit the like button, y'all. That really does help us more than you can even realize. Um, it helps us with the algorithm. So if you like the message or you like the content, um, please hit that like button. Uh, number three is that we go live every Wednesday night, 7 p.m., excuse me, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we talk about a variety of topics um, and they're fun discussions. We'd be on there for like 90 minutes to two hours but we have such a good time. And I would love for you guys to come on and engage with us. All right, you all. All right, y'all. Ooh, my, my, my talking is off. All right, you guys. So this is what I have to talk about today. The three, the three reasons why women don't like nice guys, or at least that's the myth. Now, I do not believe women don't like nice guys. I'm going to give you some, I'm going to, I'm going to back that up with some, with some facts. Okay. So the first reason why I think women don't like nice guys, quote unquote, is that sometimes I feel like women that don't see men with stereotypical masculine traits. Okay. With dominant personalities, um, leadership qualities, men that, um, I call it daddy energy, protective provider energy. Um, men that just have very strong presence, just think stereotypical masculine traits. If a woman sees a man or beats a man that doesn't have those qualities or doesn't have strong boundary setting or doesn't have great emotional control, a lot of times women will perceive that man as being softer and therefore not as attractive. OK, so a lot of times be like, I'm a nice guy. I'm sweet. I'm kind. I'm not dominant. I'm, you know, being considerate of her moods and this and the third. I really don't have boundaries. And I'm just kind of letting her define how she, how she maneuvers in my world. That's not how you get women. OK, women like men that have boundaries. Women like men. that You don't have to be strong and domineering and disrespectful. But there's a way to have boundaries, be kind, be a leader, but you don't have to avert yourself or assert yourself. I think leadership energy is an energy. Like I said, it's an energy. It's, it doesn't have to be, I'm the leader, follow me. It doesn't have to be loud. It's a presence. Okay. And I think a lot of times what happens is men will come into situations and because they're a softer personality, because they aren't like stereotypically masculine. They're seen as like the nice guy. They think, oh, well, women don't like nice guys. Well, no, women like masculine men. They're attracted to masculine men. That's biological. So when they don't see stereotypical traits that are very loud, again, it's all about perception is reality. So some women may not need that. Some women may not be looking for a man to be super loud and have this really, really strong dominant personality. Some women need that to respect the fact that you are the man. Just depends on the woman. But a lot of times men will perceive that as, oh, she doesn't like nice guys. No, she, she just needs more of an overtly masculine male. And in, in, in that has no softness to him. At least not up front. I hope that makes sense, y'all. It doesn't mean that you are not masculine. But if a woman does not perceive you, because perception is reality, she does not perceive that you have strong, stereotypical, masculine traits. I'm saying stereotypical because that does not necessarily make that man masculine, right? That's a whole other conversation. 
just because he presents and he's loud and he's this and he's that. And, you know, like, oh, he's a man. No, like sometimes that's not masculine at all. I think self-control is masculine. I think discipline is masculine. I think leadership is masculine. There's, there's certain things that, you know, we're getting into a conversation I don't want to get into. But my whole point is this. That's why some women may not like men that are softer because they don't perceive them as being as masculine. It's not about them being nice at all. Number two reason is that sometimes when men are being too nice, women can look at it as, is he trying to get over on me? Sometimes it can be like, okay, you're too agreeable. You're too, you're too this or too that. Or you're trying to get something over on me. And that's a, that can be a trauma response that can be, I've been hurt before somebody, you know, has love bombed me and they were super nice and they did everything that I wanted them to do. And then later on, I find that they ended up being the worst thing in the world, whatever, whatever. I, I, I've tried to be <laughs> YouTube appropriate here. But the reality of the situation is some women feel like when you too nice, it's like, okay, I got to watch you because you being way too nice. Like, you don't even know me like that. Like, why are you being so nice? Why are you so agreeable? And again, it could be a trauma response or it could be her gut saying there's something up here. Something's not right about the situation because you never know, y'all. Pe some people are nice and they're agreeable because they want something from you. Y'all know that, right? And some people are nice and they're agreeable because they're nice and agreeable people. They're just kind people. So sometimes when people are too nice and that's with anybody, you can be like, mm, you want something for me? Like it makes you question their motives. I know I'm like that. And somebody too, be like, ah, I need to watch you. Some about you to you, you, you. You, we like we like all the same things. We want all the same stuff. You agree with everything that I say? It's like, okay, well, maybe, maybe, um, maybe there's something, there's a thorn in the bush. I don't know. But again, that that's because sometimes, y'all, we just have to understand there are people that will utilize that or utilize um being kind. And they, they, what they do, unfortunately, is that they manipulate. They use that kindness and they manipulate. They use that kindness and it's not genuine. It's to get something from you. And so, y'all, I'm sorry, my dog, of course. I have a sparkle. <laughs> but anyway, so the third thing that I want to put on your radar, so we talked about first and foremost, that sometimes women can perceive nice guys as not being as masculine. Number two, it could seem that the guy is like, oh, there's something, there's a thorn in the bush, there's something going on, I don't know, I don't trust it. Makes it makes it feel like I can't trust you, you're being too nice, right? Um, and we all have felt that way, okay? Let's, let's be honest, we all have felt that way about certain people, right? And I would say, trust your discernment. Because sometimes you'll just, well, I think your gut instincts be on point. Okay, so trust your gut. Number three, and last but not least that I'm going to present today on this particular video um, that I think is very important for us to discuss. Another thing that we have to understand is that sometimes when men are doing too much to impress a woman or impress upon a woman, I think they do themselves a disservice because a lot of times men put certain women on pedestals. Right. Maybe because of how she presents, maybe because of how she looks, maybe because of the things that she's got going on for herself. It's like, oh, I can't mess this up. So I'm doing everything that I could possibly think of, of doing and I'm putting her up on this pedestal. The, the thing about pedestals is that somebody going to be looking down at somebody and women need to feel hear me clearly. Women need to feel like they've earned their position in your life. They can't just feel like it's just been freely given off of the strength of what they look like or off of the strength of what you perceive them to be. A lot of times men, because of, because guys are visual, they're like, oh my gosh, she's so bad. I'm going to just, you know, and you have to kind of control that and really like slow down the process. Cause guys can go in and be like, oh, visually, you know, you are everything that I'm looking for. 
but then be like, okay, but what else? What about your personality? Just say that, just mentally check yourself in that process. Even women, you can look at a man and be like, oh man, he's everything, seemingly everything that I'm looking for. Let's slow down. Let me think about this. Let me see. It's personality wise. Let me make sure that this is what I need it to be. Men, she's visually everything I'm looking for or on the surface. It seems like I like everything that she putting down. Everything that I see is, is on point with what I see my, for myself in the future. Okay. Let's slow it down a little bit. What about her character? What about her personality? Do, do we, do we align? Like, is she a respectful person? Is she somebody that I feel like I can trust? Is she somebody that I, and when you, you know that by how she conducts herself in other relationships in her life, not just how she's impressing upon you in the beginning, because everybody shows up in the beginning and, and you know, looking amazing, right? It's like, okay, how do you treat other people in your life? How do you conduct yourself? How do you conduct yourself in your business? How do you conduct yourself in on the media space, what do you look like? What is what is the optics? What do you value? These are questions that you continue to ask yourself. All right. Don't get so sold on an image that you put somebody very quickly on a pedestal and you do not take the time to take the due diligence to understand exactly what you're getting yourself into or who this person actually is. Let somebody like, OK, yeah, I'm interested. I, I want to know what's going on with you, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm I, like, until we get to a certain place, because that makes people feel like, okay, I got to earn. And women specifically, and I think men too, but we we're talking about women today. Women need to feel like they've earned that position with you. They can't just feel like they're just freely given because of whatever. And they didn't actually earn that with you with time being spent with, you know, just different experience y'all have shared together. Women need to feel that they've earned that. And I think a lot of times when it's, when the pedestal is too freely given, a woman then says, oh, well, that makes me feel like I can do better than him. And then they go and find somebody that they feel like they can be with. Right. But that's that's that just goes into understanding your value, understanding your worth, understanding that no one deserves a pedestal like people over time who they show up in the relationship or how they show up in the relationship, their character. Those things earn a a pedestal. That's when you're like, OK, you've shown that you're trustworthy. You've shown that you're respectful. You've shown that you're somebody that works well with me. OK, now that I've seen that, now you get the pedestal in my life. You don't just get that because you uh, attract him. You don't just get that because you look your resume seems great and you check up a lot of the boxes. You've earned that place in my life. OK, because, again, a lot of women, when they get that too quickly, they feel like, oh, well, if you put me on a pedestal, that means I'm looking down at you. And when they feel women are hypergamous. They're trying to get the best possible candidate. And if you make them feel like you're the, or they are the best that they can, that you can do, they're like, oh, well, that means I can do better. Okay. So that's where we have to be mindful of how we come across. Even if you're excited, even if you, you know, it, it, it's, it's somebody you feel like you're super attracted to, it seems like it, it's right. Always be mindful and pacing yourself and not just running before y'all have learned to crawl. Okay. Because it can cause a lot of issues and it can make a situation stop before it starts. Just simply because of these three variables that I brought up today. All right. So I want to hear what you guys thought about or three factors that I said today, not three variables. I want to hear what you guys think below. Um, I, I, like I said, y'all, uh, I try to be very honest with you guys. I know some of y'all might not like what I'm saying, but I want to be honest with you, okay? This is the same things that I would tell my own brothers. So I want to make sure that at any given time on this channel, you are getting the truth from me when it comes to these things, okay? So anyway, I love y'all, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Let's not just be every once in a while let's become family okay friends that are family <laughs> okay join my family today 